What's up, what's up, my good people? This is your girl, Ms. Good News, right here with What's Good. Every Wednesday at 7, y'all already know how we do when we come through. We show up and we show out. Now, I know y'all can hear my voice, so I can't do a whole lot of high pitches, but we got, you know what I'm saying, Twine Don in the building. <laughs> hey, man, hey, man. What's that in mind? Yes, he is here, y'all. Listen, I'm so excited. Um, Let me first say this. This show is live and it's also recorded so y'all make sure y'all go back on youtube check out the interview and catch these gems that this brother about to drop make sure y'all get his music let's let's start there how can they find you man i'm everywhere man twan don that's t-w-a-u-n-d-a-w-n mm. everywhere man facebook yes instagram youtube oh january to december um, you type in january to december January to December. I love it. And y'all check out the merch. You know what I'm saying? He stay with it. He don't play with it. Okay? He, he gave me this a while ago. Like, let, let, let's get into that. Yeah. Where we met. Okay? Yeah. Um, We was at Ski Money's event. And it was like a, a I want to say a meet and greet, but it was really like a media yeah, run. Yeah, like a showcase. Right yeah. And we was there. And y'all, look, I lost my keys. <laughs> I lost my keys. <laughs> I lost my keys. Him and his whole team was like, look, let me help this lady out because she is losing her mind, baby. Yeah. Right but, yeah, we got we got the mission accomplished, you know what I mean? That teamwork made the dream work. Yes, we did. Uh, yes, we did. And so I got my bracelet out there. Every day counts. We're going to get into that. January to December. How, how did that even come about? Like, it, it um, sounds so simple and so plain, but it means so much. How did you get it? How did you come up with it? <coughs> Man, it just it just came from uh, understanding what it takes, man. Like back in the day, like when um when I started, cause I had a time where when starting with the music, I used to be out there on the block, like selling my CD, three dollars at a time, and things like that. And then just understanding, like when I took a day off, it kind of would set me back. Mm -hmm. So it kind of started with the we was running with the no days off thing, man. And then um, cause that's what I actually taken, and then actually just graduated to. Man, we all year with it, man. January to December, man. So okay. graduate to that, and it's one thing to the to, to take no days off, but it's another thing to make every day count because those rest days count just as much as work days. You, know you right so about that. That's where the graduate the every day count too. Man. You right about that. So we, because people forget, people forget to rest. Rest to me is a part of success. Like it, it you have to be intentional about it, though. And I think like that. January to December, it captures the, all of that because it lets you remember. I mean, like when I say it, it's like, yo, make sure you do with everything, everything that counts, like the rest and the eating good and sleeping oh, good. Man, and health is wealth, man. Like we ain't, you ain't getting away without your health. Um, sleeping is, sleeping rest is so important, man, because you can, even the car need to get some gas, you know what I mean, get an oil change. Right. Keep the maintenance up, so you got to maintenance yourself. You got to take care of yourself. You better talk so about that all, car. Uh, <laughs> You know what I mean? So it's all a part of the whole. It's the whole thing, man. So we gotta, we gotta, you know, treat life like that too. You're right. I love it. I love it. So how does that translate into your personal life? Like, is it? Because I know that you, because of experience, you like, okay, this is how, this is what the brand is gonna be. This is what we pushing. This is what we encouraging people to think about. But how does that translate into your life personally? Uh, personally, just. Just what I do, what I what I spend my time on, what I'm eating. Now it's getting to the point like, hey, we starting to see what we've been eating and what's in that and what's causing. Cause you'll see a whole lot of cancer starting to hit people a little earlier than it used to. You You're know? right. And so it's just in our face to do the research of what we what we taking in, you know. And then also what I watch, even what I watch, like what you put into your mind is is just the same as your food. You right. You know what I'm saying so. Um, all that in one, man. We implement that. We try not to waste time. And if we do, like I said, if we rest, that's 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 on purpose. We're doing a lot of things on purpose instead of just, I like that. Instead of just doing it now. You know what I mean? So that's how it's into the personal life. That's how it's into the whole. It's the lifestyle now. That's how we, that's how we move through. I love it. You can tell, though. You can tell that you. So what I was going to say, you can tell that you're real humble and you're very thoughtful and you 
pay attention. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Because he found them keys. We're going to get back to that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) They help find them keys, okay? Mm -hmm. But, no, you can tell that you pay attention, and I think that you have to. Like, But would you say with your music that you're a conscious rapper? Because that, um, if talking to you, that's what I would think. But what um, what would you say? I wouldn't necessarily say conscious, man. Me and my dog talk about that, man. I call I call what we do. I call it substance trap, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So what it is is like if you listen to it, man. I'm talking to you. I'm saying something to you. But it's mostly like what the beats that make me move are the trap beats. Right, things right. Things like that. So um, it's me putting substance on the beat that's making you move. So you gonna bob your head, but you also got I love so it. I feel like yeah, that's what I call call my music, man. My genre, substance trap. Man. Oh, is that a new genre? Come on now. Okay. Hey, you heard it here first, okay. man. Oh, hey, don't take that. <laughs> I might trademark that. You, you know bet. You, look, don't yeah. mic. He Come it's on, done. Dude. Stop it's playing with him. Deal. It's done a deal. done deal. Mm-hmm. Now look, if y'all see me looking down, it's because I'm meaning to share this video. Make sure if you're on here to share this video. And let people know that this is a platform again. What's good? What's good with Miss Good News is a platform to reach the masses, and it doesn't stop here. I'm on WLJZ 107.1 FM, so listen, we already got his music in rotation because it's that good. Like I, I heard it. I heard not all of it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, you, gotta, you gotta get some more. But what would you say more. is your favorite song out of? And I hate to ask people that because it'd be so much sometimes. But yeah, yeah, yeah. what's your favorite, or what speaks to you the most? Um, I say my latest, my latest thing, man. The latest project was on uh, even called even on the weekends, man. So <laughs> we working, we grinding even on the weekends. You feel what I'm saying? So it had two tracks on it, man. Next move, that's basically saying man, you got to make your next move your best move. You have but to. But it's also about um, you know, the the mindset and the the steps I had to take to actually start more moving a little smart and things like mm-hmm. that. And then um, another song in it called That's Why I Digger. You know what I'm saying? The song for the females kind of, hey. you know what I mean? Because ain't nothing against it, but, you know, the majority of the songs that you see when it's involving a female is like, hey, twerk this, twerk that, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? But what happened to the songs that's kind of highlighting, you know, the things about a female other than the physical features, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like You it. know what I mean? So um, females kind of run the world, man, you know what I'm saying? The right you know. females, you know what I'm we saying? Do. Like, you know. So it's like, so that's what that song's about, man, just... Things that I dig about a female other than a physical feature. So let's get into it. What do you yeah. dig about a female? Um, Swan, Don, what what do just you? A, just, I mean, just a mindset. You know what I mean? Her ability to be resilient. You know what I mean? Like the low gangster side too, and, and things like that. So um, I just drop a cover on my page too and everything like that, man. Like it's a Bible. You know what I'm saying? You, you're a worker. You, you take care of everything, man. Like everything that come in your way, everything on your plate. So many. I grew up. Mom Duke's been a single mama, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Single mama, three boys. I ain't never heard my Tough. mama. You know what I mean? I ain't never heard my mama complain. I learned my work ethic from from Duke. You know what I'm saying? Right. Duke's was all I seen was get up, work. You know what I'm saying? Come home, you got something to eat. Boom, boom, boom. Teach y'all boy how to cook. Boom, boom, boom. Do for yourself. Get back to work. And build the bed, you know what I'm mm. saying? So that's the example I had to see. So seeing that, you know what I mean? It's like. I love hey, that. I love it. Because some people in life, I mean, you know, you have your good and your bad. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But so, a lot of times people focus and highlight more of the bad and yeah, the, yeah, you yeah. know, complications. So for you to say that about a single mom, shout mm-hmm. out to the single moms mm-hmm. and the single dads, but shout out to the single shout mom. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, you man, saying yeah. that, that's a beautiful thing because yeah. we do need to recognize those types yeah, of things, yeah, you know? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. Because it's not talked about enough, man. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, that was music that popped and then, you know, people like Tupac made it popular and things like that, man. But too much of the other stuff that came and things like that. So what? let me, let me, let me jump in and throw a little, a little bit of torn down <laughs> in, this, in this sauce real fast. Man. He so, did yeah, it. Yeah. He did it. So what, what do you think the differences are that affect you between South Carolina and North Carolina when it comes to music and being an artist? I want to say, just be honest, like, I, with North Carolina, just paying attention to something and following them, keep us moving, like, it's, it's more events and things like that. Okay, like, yeah. Um, they got the more to showcase, it was just, it's just more things happening that are involving the artists and things like that at this time, at least what I'm seeing. Right. Late, you know what I mean? Like, 
just where I'm from, like we had things going on, but then circumstances, um, craziness come on, the club got to close down. Just, right. happens, just you know what I mean, things like that happen. So you gotta you gotta go looking for you know opportunities to put what you got on display. Um, so just paying attention to North Carolina, starting to follow some of the people that's moving around here. I just man, I see the event every weekend. You know, y'all got something going on every they weekend. They definitely keep it going. Things like that. So I'm like, man, I, I can rock with that because that's the that's the mindset we move. Like we we ready to move. We moving. We trying to get things done. We trying to be here. We trying to be right. there. So it kind of it matches, you know, where we trying to go at and how we move. So that's 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 the thing I see see the most. Like I'm pretty sure South Carolina we gonna get there. You know right. what I mean? Once we get things moving in motion, but that's a that's a different that's a new North Carolina. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. So do you know mm-hmm. Long Money Field? Yeah, I know her, bro. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't know okay. her personally, but I know her, bro. Yeah, bro, bro. Wanna, Okay, y'all gonna work? Y'all gonna do something together? Hey man, if it, if, if the path cross, man, then yeah, definitely, man, definitely. Um, but yeah, you gotta salute, bro, grinding, man. You gotta salute anybody that's grinding because it 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 look good on the surface, but that background stuff, man, it it, that's it, the it, work. it Yeah, that's the work. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's the work. See, bro, grinding. Or see anybody that's grinding, putting in that work. Man, yeah. You gotta, you gotta salute. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, yeah, let me see. Salute, I'm, I'm trying to see. Uh. Give my little shout out. Shout out to uh, DJ Chuck T. Now, I know you know him. Yeah, you know I know Chuck. Okay. Chuck, what's happening with you, family? What's happening with you, man? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Chuck, man. We done sat down with Chuck, man. Chuck done gave us a good bit of game, man, on things, man, and how to move and uh, a lot, man. So, yes, yeah, salute to Chuck. Okay, man. yeah, because I, I took his class, too. Yeah, okay, yeah, I yeah. took his class, and I, I admire his work ethic. And, yeah. and when you see good work ethic, I.E.U. Yeah, you motivation. be motivated. You yeah. be like, shoot, I gotta get to it. Yeah, I gotta get to like, it. That's and that's the thing, man. Like that's when they say, um, just naturally, they say your environment, you know, influences you. So mm-hmm. if you're around some hustlers, man, you you gonna become a better hustler. You that know part. what I'm saying? So yeah, that man, that's, that's salute, man. Cause he don't stop working, y'all. Let me tell y'all first off. Let's mm-hmm. get into this. <clears throat> Come on, man. This brand, okay, I'm gonna tell him myself because I was like, dang, I want one too. Cause he, yeah, had, he got yeah. his whole squad in here, it's and nice. I was like, oh, I want one too. And they had already had it because he was already working, he was getting he to on time it. With it man. And this color just dropped today. It's... Y'all go to the website, January to the summer.com. Yeah, we let's get it. Spent, too. We done spent all the Christmas money, we had to bring it back to the trap colors to <laughs> get back to the grind more, the black on black. The red and black. I love it. Just off of the side, yeah. so that, that right there, fresh off the press. Mm, mm, mm. And look, look how you, first off, on, let's get into Brandon. How important is it? Because he, he got he got his tags, okay? On, he got on, the QR code on it. Stop on, playing with him. On. And then he got the bands on the on the on stream. The on, like, stop, stop playing. He not playing. On, he not playing. Let me open it. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. y'all want one, don't you? On, I know. On. I got one. Get yours, too, okay? So how important is branding? Um, I think it's the most important thing, man. Um, think about it. If you see yellow, yellow M, you think of McDonald's. That's right. You think of, you know, anything like Tide, Tide washing detergent. Clinics. Like I thought like clinics was really tissue. Oh. <laughs> tissue. I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Like anything is, <laughs> everything is branded, man. Something like when it came down to even Master P and them boy, like if you didn't know the artist's name, that's right. A lot of the artists back in the day, they got they got their sales just for being associated with No Limit. Right. You know what I mean? Right. People was like, you know, No Limit got a standard of what they put out mm. and things like that. So you go and go just because you sign with No Limit and you drop. So I Brandon like is everything. Yeah, Brandon is everything, man. And, um, mm. It tells your story, man. Brandon is what it I is. I like the man. standard. That word right there. This is this is the standard of branding. <laughs> like you got to pack it, you're right, because you really are giving people an experience, and so and people will take care of what you give them based on how you give it to them. Because this is so quality, so it's like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I threw the plastic on the floor. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it's all good. Yeah, you know as long as you saying? got what was in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> the plastic is just the wrap. You know, that's yes. just what you do for the gifts. You know? So what project are you pushing right now? Let them know again and where they can find it. Um, right now we pushing like I said, it's called even on the weekend. I mean we working all man, every day, man, every day, even on the weekend. You like find it. that everywhere, man. Torn down, even on the weekend. Everywhere you listen to music, man, it's out here right now. Um, 
anywhere you listen to music. Be everywhere you need to be. Everywhere you need to be. Everywhere you need to be. So where do you need to be in the next two years? Next two where years, would you say um, you need to be? Moving, man, like really um, the grind, taking care of everything. You feel what I'm saying? Um, letting go of everything else. There's no more side hustle. The grind is just, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And the grind is, is the main focus. So get into that. Why why you say no side hustles? Because you, you hear people say all the time, I'm booked and busy, I'm booked and busy. And I, me personally, I don't like to say it just because I've learned that being busy doesn't mean being productive. And so you, I want to be, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no so what, why why did you say that? Why did you um, say no side hustles and just stay focused? Stay focused on because, you know, this grind actually started as a side hustle. You know mm. what I'm saying? It started this way. And because, of course, you got to take care of family. You got to take right. care, you know, do the, do the normal things. You got to build on it, you know what I'm saying? So it started as a side hustle. So now that it's growing, it's like whatever else, this got to turn into the main hustle. And right. then it's got to turn into the only hustle until you get to a point where now we can venture into other things. Because you move, once you put time in something, if you move too fast and you take your focus off the main thing, the main thing can collapse. That's true. Because we're trying to move too fast in the other arena. Now uh, get this, get this foundation solid. Continue to build, continue to build, and then just naturally, it's going to go to other things. But you know what? I now that you're saying that, I've noticed that people are just not patient, and the world doesn't condition us to be patient. It's like the three minute, the three second clips, and then now they're, they're up to three minutes, as if that's a long time. Yeah, yeah. The songs used to be four and cool, ten minutes. Man, now it's one. <laughs> One thirty seconds. One verse, minute and twenty seconds. Song over. Yeah, man. And so, shout out to my brother Nathaniel Woods, Doctor Woods. Excuse me, but um, he always says like, uh, with the the whole thing about being a jack of many trades, and then the ruler of nothing, Mm -hmm. because you don't put enough time in, and people change up so quick. It's like Mm -hmm. cell phones; you change up so quick before you really even know how to use it and maximize off of what you got. You into something else. You already into something else, and then you eventually taken away from this. Like I take it like, I take it like it's the it's the microwave and the oven mentality. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like yeah, the microwave you heat it up real quick, boom, boom, boom. But that food coming out that oven tastes way really better, man. Honey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, I'm a whole cuisine. You know what I'm saying? They said a snack, but I'm a cuisine. Stop playing with me. Yeah, <laughs> but that's what we have with it, man. So it's like it's keeping that mentality, man, continuing to build. Because the foundation is a strong, you know what I mean, the thing that you spend the most time on. Right. Once you got that foundation solid, it's going to build on its own. So mm. we definitely there, man. We patient. We moving right. And we making sure we, I seen the quote, well, I seen the thing where um, Rick Ross said, like, ain't about this moving fast. It's about moving correctly. That's yeah. that part. Yeah. That part. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I ain't trying to get there fast. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. <laughs> you know, and stay there. You know and stay there. Like, yeah. yeah. We trying to build a spot where we can live. You know mm. what I'm saying? Not a spot where we just hang it for a little while. I love it. So what keeps you balanced? Um, I say family, you know what I mean? Family, um, life, and just um, experiences, man. Like, what I've been through is is the, the motivation to never go backwards. Mm. Um, family is the, it's the most important thing, actually, you know what I'm saying? Like, the grind, like, the main reason for the grind is to be able to take care of family. That's you know what I'm right. saying? So um, it's that right there, man. Trying like to stay that. focused, not no taking no steps backwards unless we learn it from it. And then family, man, you know what I'm saying? Because that's really that's really what's more important. There ain't nothing about having something, but nobody should ever. Oh, I love it. See, he's so deep. Come on, man. Now, you hey, like deep like this all the time. Now, are you deep like this all the time? Are you deep like this all the time? Or you? 1,000, man. You have, a, <laughs> you have a conversation with me. Hey, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because life. Hey, man, life is life. Man. Life is real, too, you know what I'm saying? So we mm-hmm. take it serious, you know what I'm saying? And you got to, in certain situations, you have to think deep to get out of it, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So why not it be a part of your normal day, you know what I'm saying? I like it. Oh, yeah. I love it. So yeah. what would you be doing if you wasn't doing music? Um, man, something. You know what I'm saying? I will be, <laughs> hey, something. my dog said, hey, I'll be a hooper, you feel what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, the first it? love, yeah, the first love was basketball, man. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'll be dunking on somebody or something, right? You know what I mean? Right now, I'm crossing somebody up. 
Mm, yeah, y'all heard him. Don't play with him on the court. Hey, man. Ask him about me on that court, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, definitely, man. Basketball was the first love, man. But then, you know, you could take a lot of basketball mentalities and apply it to the ground. You know what I'm saying? So, look, yeah. only, only the wise people, yeah. only the wise people will take the lessons they learn from everything, whether mm-hmm. you was a chef, a teacher, a counselor, whatever it is, and apply it across the board. Exactly. If you don't do that, then, like, you, what's the point? Like, what's the point of going through anything if you're not going to get the lesson out of it? Come on, man. You can learn from others. You don't have to make all the mistakes. You can learn from others' mistakes, man. You know? I know. That's why yeah. I say that for the people in Come the on, back. On, <laughs> gotta, yeah, you don't got to go through everything yourself, man. You can just be a watcher, be an observer. Right. We don't laugh when people, we don't laugh when other people fall. You know what I'm saying? We learn from it. You know? mm-hmm. Okay. On, okay. Talk to them. I love it. I like what you do. Y'all listen, I lost my voice. It's coming back, but it's okay because I said, listen, Twan, you still want to do this because I'm just checking. I'm coming. Yeah. But I'm just, he, hey, hey, you can man, talk. We, we, we yeah, can we get it done. Yeah. <laughs> we are Salisbury. Yeah. Salisbury. Yes. I like the way you say yeah. it. You can yeah. say it that way. Yeah, it's that Salisbury. Way. Salisbury. Yeah. Salisbury yeah. Tell yeah. me where you came from yeah, and how far did you travel? Yeah, we up here from Charleston. What have been about three and a half, three and some change. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Let me, I'm around. looking at the button. Let me see. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. You like that? Let me do that. Yes. Uh, yes. Again, they came all the way. So there's no excuses. You know what? What would you say is one of the biggest things that you hear or see as a mistake for artists? that they use as an excuse for why they're not where they want to be. Um, I know it's a lot. Saying, um, you don't have the time or something like that. Or saying, because, you know, like, when you start now, man, most most of us got nine to five. You ain't took, you know what I'm saying? You ain't took the other route. That's right. Or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But um, you can say you ain't got the time, you got family and everything, which is understandable mm-hmm. and things like that, man. But, you know, the mentality, I think we all was there. But the mentality I took to it was like, you got 30, you can have 10 minutes in a day, you can have 20 minutes a day, you can have 30 minutes in a day. You feel what I'm saying? You can start there. You know what That's I mean? It. Start with 30 seconds, I mean 30 minutes of the day. Like, Start doing something towards what you say you want to do every day. That's you feel right. what I'm saying? Even if it's 15 minutes, 20 minutes. You feel what I'm saying? And then that way, what that does or what it did for me is made me start paying attention to what I'm actually doing with my time. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Because now... I'm like that. I've been sitting down watching this show for two hours. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. I could have, I could have spent the hour doing something with the grind, something with the music, and things like that. So once I started paying attention to, all right, how I'm spending my day, then certain things got cut out. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna cut this out and be gonna substitute it with this, so we can begin to cross remember what we said we want to do. If you really want to do it. If you really want to do it, what he said. If you really want to really do it. Want yeah, because it's, again, if you think about, um, shout out to Amade. He's the inventor inventor of the Panur app. If you don't have it, make sure you get it. But shout out to him because he, we were talking, and he was talking about when you break things down and you look at it differently, a different perspective will enhance the thought of it, okay? It's thought-provoking. When you think about January to December and you think about how much, days you have in a year to get things done that you say you want to do and you love so much and then you break it down to minutes we waste a lot of time like we waste like you just said two hours and then you look at this the the generation now and i'm not saying just young people i'm just talking about people in general on the phone and you be scrolling for three hours you only meant to look at not even paying attention you done wake up grab the phone and Scrolling, man, hour later, already gone, you know what I'm saying, just that quick, so it's a lot more, nowadays it's a lot more distractions and things that, that can keep you focused, you know what I'm saying? Man, so, it really is, yeah. this this society mm-hmm. is, I would say, is the thief of time, mm-hmm. because, okay, okay. you know hey, what I'm saying, I was doing right, we got an audience hey, in the back, you know what I'm saying, hey, turn up, <laughs> but yeah. no, I'm, seriously, like, yeah. Cause you can get lost in the sauce and they give you so they put so much in your face and when i say they the world and we we allow these things to be in our face you know what i'm saying we sit in front of these things 
and we put so many things and we say is oh we got options no you got distractions because you can't get and nothing them, them done apps, them apps is a trap sometimes because you can you can press back to say you about to get out of it no it take you back to something else you got to press back two or three times to right. get out you know what i'm saying so i'm like a trap you know what i mean if you ain't if you already pay attention man so it's like and them cookies yeah, and all man. The cook, the cook, the, the, the app will follow you. Like, you will be thinking about something. You'll be like, y'all Yo, want a red sweater. All the red sweaters in the world come up on you. Come on, Hey, bro, what you tell, bro? You tell, bro? Hey, I robot, right? Hey, listen. <laughs> Yo, boy, you pay attention to that I robot. No way about to have them thing walking around. I ain't about to have. I don't even want no Alexa in my house. Alexa be listening to everything. Man. Alexa listen. be like, hey, I can't hey, help you. You be like, I didn't even ask you a question, Come on, Alexa. Alexa. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Alexa knows me. Come on. I'ma just say you that. Come on. But no, <laughs> <laughs> no me, but that's for real. That's I, I think you have a great vision mm -hmm. and I think it's important to have a vision. And like how do you see your team being successful with you? Because a lot of people don't plan for their team. They mm -hmm. plan it for themselves, and then you just have a lot of people that's around. But it just seems to me that you would have a plan for your team, like yeah, a vision like, for them. Just shout out to my team, man. Shout out to my dog, KG. Shout out to my dog, yes. Short, man. Um, it's, it ain't, it really ain't nothing without the team. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's like we we play our roles and we, we do our part. So the goal is not just to take care of my family. And the right. goal is for everybody that's involved, found to be taken care of off this ground. That we mm -hmm. do it because, like, we do things like this. Boom, I will. My dog get the tail. Girl get the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, we do this, we do right. that. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we bounce off and things like that. So it's like Michael Jordan ain't Michael Jordan without the bull. You right. know what I'm saying? And right. When the championships come, Jordan ain't the only one that gets the ring. You know what I'm saying? Not All the bulls right. get the ring. You know everybody so gets the ring. It's like the goal is to make this big enough that all our families can take care of. Mm. Point blank period. It ain't just about it can't just be about me. They say when you gonna go fast, you go by yourself, you won't go far. Mm. Gotta have a team with you, you know what I'm saying? Look at that man, pull away. So y'all better stop playing with him. January to December, y'all better stop. Man, torn down, even man. on the weekends. What even is, on the weekends. Even man. on the weekends. On, that's real life. That's real life. Yeah, because I be working on the weekends. I work, I work in the morning. I work at night. Like, I'm going to tell you, I think the hardest job I've ever had in my life was working for myself. But it's the best and the most beneficial. Like, if, you are, if you're willing to put the time in and have enough faith in yourself to work for yourself, you will get further along in life. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just it's a lot of hard work. I'm like, telling you, man, it's, 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 it's so many examples. People doing it and doing things that people have said have, have been impossible before. Man. So mm -hmm. just to have them examples and keep feeding yourself, learning from the people that are already there, man. It's mm -hmm. possible, man, to do what you. It's possible to do what you want to do, man. Especially if you if you putting good out into the world. You know yes. what I'm saying? You mean, good. You heard what he said. Putting good. Good. You gotta put good. We here with Miss Good. <laughs> good you know what I mean? But yeah, putting something good into the world, man, and having you know a, a good impact on the world. Really no limit to where how far you can go, where you can go, man. You know and that's why we're gonna go far. January to December. Stop on, playing with Stop it. Stay playing, with it. Man. You know what I'm saying? Stay um it, yeah. check out the shirt, Everything the comes. sweater, Everything you know what I'm saying? He got the hat. I mean he got, he got, he got what you are you feeling, selling man? the chains? Nah, the chains exclusive right now, man. This, this I really like the right chain. Now, man. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. I can it. see a lot of people wearing you it. You can see that? So it when you be, get it, it, it may be something that it may be something that come down the line, man. It may be something, but right now, yeah, this is exclusive. This is exclusive, man. This be exclusive like to the team. The team about to, yeah, everybody about to be changed out. But, I yeah, like that. I yeah. like that, man. Listen, is there anybody you would like to work with here locally or in locally? I mean, any the Carolinas period or nationally known artists? Is there anybody mm. you like? Yeah, like music wise, man. Like you know. Um, Man, anyway, man, it, 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 if it come down, a, if it come down the line, man, like we cross paths, man. But um, naturally, man, I was gonna drop a song with like Monica or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. Monica, I don't think Monica get the get the recognition she she get she deserved for what she doing. She, music, you she know laid it down like, now. She, she done dropped some bangers, man, like over the years and stuff like that. So on them little R and B mangles, man, when it 
come to um, mm-hmm. when it comes to musical like on the rap side it's like I'll just let that I'll just let that come together you know what I'm saying I'll be I in like my that. um I'll be in my own I work a certain way you know right. what I'm saying I work a certain way so to go out here seeking to laugh nothing against anyone but seeking to laugh would be right. would be something different against than what I'm you. used to here right. right now so it'll I just like have that. to be something that comes together organically like mm-hmm. I bump into somebody we link up and we'll boom things like that so I'm open to it, man, as long as we on the, you know what I mean, say we ain't say uh, wavelength, you know yep. what I mean, as far as what we putting out and things like that. It, yeah, it, it, I'm, too, I'm open to whatever. Hmm. Yeah. I love it. I, I love working with you. Yeah, 1,000. Same you know what I'm saying? I, I, I think that this is a great interview. Thank oh, you yeah. for all the gems that you dropped. Yeah, I appreciate cause you. Because you're full of wisdom. And I, I truly appreciate you coming from Charleston. Like, yeah. that's, that's a good drive. You're taking that ride, man. I'm Take serious, man. How bad man. you want it, man? How bad you want it? You want gas up? You don't yeah. Have rules, man. So let me ask you this last thing, because I, I have a feeling people want to know. How do you pick and decide what is worthy of your time? Because mm. there's so many people out here with platforms, and they say you should do this showcase, and you should do this, and you should get with that person, and get with this person. How do you know what it is, which one it is that you should do? Like being mm-hmm. here with me, like how how did you make that decision to say I'm gonna get in this car and drive three hours and some change to go sit down with Miss Good News? What was what's your deciding factors? Um, well, with that part, with you, you know, it's just from paying attention to how you move, man. Like I see you, I see you, someone that's similar to you know similar mindsets. Like I see you with a flyer here, you on this event here, you on this thing. Every place I see you, you sit down and you move and boom. On the move, man, so it seemed like, all right, that's another hustle right there. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And then I, I'm paying attention, you know what I mean? It's one thing to, it's one thing to just be like, all right, you just picking people. No, nah, I'm going to follow you and I'm going to pay attention. Right. I'm going to see what you got going on because a lot of a lot of people can say they're doing it, but you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you don't have to really say what you're doing. It should be seen. It should be seen. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Your actions won't really speak for what um, anything that your words or your mouth say. Your actions will already say it. So, that's what I seen. Like I seen another hustle. I'm like, man, listen, that's somebody I rock with, man. And um, when it comes to showcases and things like that or events, it's about it's actually about what the goal is. You know what I'm saying? Our goal is to stretch the brand, put our brand in front of more people, right. um, put our put our music in front of more ears. So if that showcase or what it is, it it appears that it can be, you know, something that helps us achieve that goal. Because this one thing, man, we've been grinding for a minute. Man. It's another. It's one thing to be rapping in front of a bunch of other artists. You know right. what I'm saying? They right. Really, they're not really listening. They're just waiting on their turn. You we're know just what I'm saying? Waiting on their like turn. That. Right. So if we can, if we're trying to get in front of in front of other people, we're trying to get the fans on. What it look like? So we we one of them types that we we observe, we research. So if you got an event, I already been paying attention to you before that. You know what I'm saying? I know. I know you selected. That's why on, yeah, I had to ask that, that so question because there's a lot know. of people out there that yeah. they don't know. They don't know which way to go, but like you just said, I think it's about having a goal in yeah. mind, and there's a lot of us, or a lot of people, that's out here just hopeful, yeah. you know, and yeah. that's a scary place to be, if you're just hopeful, you're just hopeful, you don't have no strategy, you don't have no nothing, and you're just dreaming, man, there's a lot of dream catchers out here, <laughs> there's a lot of people I call that, man, up. like, I call that, like, you're playing a lot of you, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, when you when you just hopeful, you know what I mean, like, you you in the city, you're playing a lot of you. But really, like, like I, you know, in the music game, nine to five gets talked down about it. But having a nine to five mentality towards your grind can be a good thing mm-hmm. because you go to your nine to five every day. That's so right. if you work towards, you work on your grind every single day and put in that work. You gonna see, you gonna see the result. You know right. what I'm saying? So you just gotta keep pushing, man. And anybody like, if they is like hopeful and things like that, like slow motion, man. Slow motion better than no motion. You know what I'm saying? Cause That's right. If we trying to, if you trying to rush there, man, like anything rush, ain't too many things that like come across in life that's rushed that ended up being good. That's right. You know it don't saying? last so too long. It like... don't last too long, man. So yeah. Patience, man. Patience is real important. But you know what I'm saying? Patience with a strategy. Patience with. Yeah. Well, I ain't, listen, I, he didn't gave a lot. Okay, that's yeah, all I'm gonna say. So I'm gonna yeah. save some because when he come back, he gonna perform. You know what I'm saying? Not yeah. tonight. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. on another night. Oh, <laughs>
So on. let them know where they can find you again, man. Now you find me everywhere, man. The Twan Dawn. It's T W A U N D A W N. That's on Facebook. That's on Instagram, YouTube, all that. January to December. If you Google January to December with Period. the number, mm-hmm. that thing gonna come up first on Google, man. The, um, the website. Go call the merch. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? We got wristbands on there. If you just want to be a part of the movement, go to, go get your free pack of wristbands. You know what I'm saying? We'll send that to you. Oh, That's he said free. That's free. Just the wristbands. <laughs> if you just want to be a part of the movement, you mm-hmm. rock with us, man. So we everywhere, man. You can look at my dogs. January to December. Dog JG, my dog short. J2D short, man. We right here, man. January they to are. December. You can find us. Y'all can find them, y'all. And this is your girl again, Ms. Good News. That's M-Z-G-O-O-D-N-E-W-Z. Right here with Twan Don. She ain't ready to December. Y'all gonna see them working. Y'all gonna see us working. Because we work. That's what we get it done. Yeah. So we out right now. Okay.